do you see this? I mean, seriously, this is crazy. This is our cushion category. This is how much we spent that was unplanned. This is ridiculous. Hey guys, I am in Melina's room today again. I've been here probably for a couple of weeks now filming because Melina's room and the office, which is my parents' guest room, are on the same side of the house and they have the best light. My bedroom is in on the opposite side of the house and doesn't have good light, but I do have a light kit. But the problem is the light kit is in the office. And Mauricio is studying, and I absolutely hate to bother him when he's studying because he, you know, it, it's annoying to have interruptions. So I don't want to go in there and get the light kit. So I've been borrowing Melina's room lately to get some nice natural light. Don't I look lovely in the natural light? <laughs> March was ugly. I mean, ugly, ugly, ugly. We always have a $100 cushion, and we blew past that $100 cushion like that but it was mostly in the second half of the month we put a few things in the first half of the month but very few during the first half of the month my dad melina and i were all sick i got better pretty quickly compared to my dad and melina they were sick for almost three weeks it was long and then at the end of the month mauricio got sick my mother never felt wonderful the whole month but we don't know if she ever actually got sick or not because she never gets as sick as anybody else she's got a really great immune system which is fortunate there was a lot of medication spending comfort food spending the i don't feel good and i don't want to cook spending there was just a lot of spending going on so in my usual format, I'm going to spend the first part of the video going over our expenses that we didn't expect when we were planning out the budget. And then in the last half of the video, I'll go over each individual category and how it worked out. And I will tell you, we were able to carry money over at the end of the month to April, which is fantastic because we have a debacle heading in April because you know what? It's tax season, and I'll go over that in a bit. So let's just jump on into this, and you'll see. You're going to... Don't judge. Don't judge. It was bad. <laughs> bad. Uh, Mauricio grabbed some food at Jason Stelly one afternoon, and so that was 11.65, which, you know, normally would not have been a big deal. It was built into the budget until... You see the next overage. The next overage was a night that we ordered takeout. Nobody was feeling good and we decided we just were, nobody wanted to cook. Nobody wanted to cook. So we ordered takeout and we used Uber Eats. And since Mauricio and I are the ones with the Uber account, obviously, um, that got charged to us. If you know anything about the DC area, takeout or delivery is not cheap not even a little bit. So those of you who can have a family of five go out to eat for under $35, $40, I envy you because our meal, and it wasn't, it wasn't fantastic. It was just, eh, um, was almost $80, $78.36 to be exact with tip and delivery costs. So, and it was, you know, just basic run of the mill. Like I want to say Mediterranean or our next expense is 1675 at Giant. I swung by one day, Melina. Um, it was actually actually after the day, the day that I, I took Melina to the doctor to see if she had pneumonia. I swung by Giant and I got her some soup. I'll go ahead and link that video up in the eye in the sky. And um, if you haven't seen it, it was, you know, just a quick little vlog of, of me taking Melina to the doctor. But I went and got that soup and then I actually got some stuff to make chicken noodle soup, uh, chicken alphabet soup for Melina from scratch, which she absolutely loved uh, later on. She loves soup to begin with. Soup is absolutely one of her favorite foods always. So I got that and then I think I got her some popsicles because her throat hurt and it made it feel better. The next one is our standard Mauricio eating out of the vending machine at Amazon Flex. So it looks like $5.25. For that, that is obviously cumulative. It's not the only thing. I mean, it was like a dollar here, a dollar there, a dollar there. The next few, um, I find terribly entertaining. And Mauricio and I did have words about several of these. Um, he stopped and got a smoothie. He located a Smoothie King apparently near his office. Mauricio loves Smoothie King. Um, 
you know, it's fine. I, I'm not a big smoothie person because they're just all sugar, but Mauricio loves them. And hey, if it's the only way that boy gets fruit, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. But he needs to be spending his blow money on those things, not using the debit card. Well, apparently he didn't have enough money on um, in his blow money. So he bought a $7 smoothie on his debit card. Yeah, $7. I was like, really? The next one was $27.58 for last minute dinner supplies. Another sick expense because we were feeling too lazy to thaw stuff out. I, I Honestly, I can't even tell you what we made that night. The next one was Mauricio. I'm pretty sure that was Taco Bell. I started, this is partially my fault, I started depending on Mauricio to make his lunches and because at the beginning of the month I wasn't feeling good and I was just trying to get everything done and, and at the end of the month the transition into my new job which starts the day this video comes out is actually the first day of my new job. So transitioning into my new job I just was not making Mauricio lunches but that is stopping. I am... Um, getting together a grocery list and I'm going to start making Mauricio's lunches again. That should put an end to the eating out. The next one was a trip to CBS, $23.98. I was getting medication for everybody. I think I got cold medicine for, or cold and flu medicine for Mauricio or me or somebody. And then also medication for Melina. And the next one you'll see was $16.27. I'm going to kick your butt at McDonald's, Mauricio. <laughs> um, he, that was the day of the snow. Yeah, we had a, a snow and I, my work, I had to go into work normally. A lot of stuff was canceled, but I went into work and Mauricio decided to get my mom and my dad, Melina and him McDonald's for breakfast on the way home. The next one irritated me to no end. Last year, we got... Um, a VIP membership to Roadrunner Sports. And the reason was because both Mauricio and I at the same time needed new running shoes. So we went to Roadrunner Sports and got fitted the appropriate way, figured out the models that we, we both need to use for running. And their shoes are expensive, but if you pay, you know, $30, they give you a huge discount on your shoes. And so, you know, they had gone to a lot of work to fit us and everything. So we both agreed we needed to buy our shoes there. We won't buy any more shoes there. And what we did not realize is that VIP membership is an annual thing. So it just showed up. I did not know it was an annual charge. So Mauricio said he would call and try and get them to credit to us. And I doubt they will. I'm not even going to stress about it. But I am going to make sure he does cancel it. The next one, 50 cents for parking meters. That's why we have the cushion. Um, the next one oh, is another subscription. We wanted to try out YouTube Red just to see what it was like. And they had a free trial. And I know this is why they do free trials because people like me forget to cancel them. So we are going to be canceling it. it. In fact, I think Mauricio already did cancel it. So, um, but we were charged $10 for YouTube Red. So annoyed. The next one was a work field trip that I had forgot to put in the budget. We had to go out for a meeting, which involved a lunch out. So that was $16.87. It was a work expense. I didn't really have an option. It's one of those things. And, and now that I'm, um, I'm in a supervisory position, I expect I'm going to have things like that a lot more frequently. So I need to probably put in a line item for that kind of stuff. The next one was another Smoothie King smoothie. Even after I chewed him out for the $7.41 smoothie, he went and bought another one for $8 this time. I'm like, what are you putting in those smoothies? Gold? I mean, seriously, $8 for a drink? Who pays that? So the next one was totally me being bitter and hostile. I figured Mauricio had like six or seven meals out and I was irritated by that. So in my passive aggressive form, apparently, I decided I was going to go out to Oklahoma Jones with my coworkers and get a lovely pulled chicken salad. And it was delicious. And I love Oklahoma Joe's barbecue. Not as good as Mauricio's barbecue, not even close, but it is, 
it's good barbecue. The next one, I have a video coming out about this particular event because it was such a costly experience that I felt it warranted its own video. My contacts, I had issues with them. I ended up spending $38.09 on them uh, to get them all straightened out. And that video I think is coming out next week watch for it. it. It's interesting about how sometimes the cheapest things aren't always the smartest. And then Mauricio had another meal out for $5.29 at Taco Bell, a Starbucks coffee for $4.90. And then I went out to lunch for $9.79. Because I've pretty much gotten to the point that if Reese is going out to lunch, I'm going out to lunch. So that is stopping. Um, we were really fortunate this month that we were able to cover these overages by just shifting things around. That is not normally the case, but because we had our tax bill in there and he didn't end up finishing the taxes in time for the, me to pay him this month, we had a little bit extra. We had our normally huge transportation bill. Um, I had $250 in there for car repair that Mauricio never got in and scheduled. So we were able to shift things out, you know, since we work on the zero based budget, we, we shifted things around. So it was not such an issue this month. We had enough money to cash flow everything. And then we were able to carry some over to the next month because there still are those expenses. Mauricio still needs to get maintenance on his car and we still need to pay the tax guy. So we did use a little bit of that money, but relatively speaking, it's it's not such a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal. The eating out was out of control this month. I mean, out of control. And that is not going to happen again because no. My cushion category was $326.98. That is ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. That That's just... That's $227 more than I allowed for. Utilities this month started out at $543.68 and stayed at $543.68. Yay! Transportation. Transportation started out at $835. A lot of that was car repair and then our ginormous gas um, budgeting that and both of which had extra so a lot of our overage money came from this category and we ended up at 391.78 so we had a significant amount of money left over the molina category 1479 for our school and that of course stays the same every month yay our stores category this was another bad one um this was 100 percent amazon so this is why I can't criticize Mauricio too much because we did order a lot on Amazon. It wasn't all just me though. Mauricio did put quite a few things in the Amazon budget. We started at $100 and we ended up at $238. Well, we broke my mother and father's drink shaker. So we had to replace that. And then we got gum. Both of us got gum. You know, those big packs. I needed to buy uh, dry shampoo. We got a uh, three pack of Dr. Scholl's. I had that shirt, which I will discuss in a later video. And if you don't know what shirt I'm talking about, I'll link that up in the eye in the sky as well. We bought hair gel. I bought a pack of pens for work, deodorant. And then several of those things were actually birthday presents for me. My birthday present is in March and so. Several of the things that got purchased were for me. And then we bought, I bought my parents a new uh, Keurig cup tray so we could stop stacking Keurig boxes. And then Mauricio needed some more Casey butt spice, which is fantastic for barbecuing, um, but not cheap. It's like $17 a bottle, but it is excellent, excellent uh, rib rub. So we use that a lot. So that was the overages in Amazon. Insurance and taxes started out at $899.19 and ended at $299.19. And the reason for this is our insurance and our taxes are always the same every month. But this particular month, we had to pay the CPA. And I had budgeted, as you know, $600 in for that and he did not finish our taxes by the end of March. So 
we were able to use some of that $600 to make our budget float. And part of me secretly wonders if knowing that we weren't going to use all that money was part of the reason we spent so much. Because we knew we weren't completely operating on a zero-based budget. Probably true. So anyway, what we ended up doing is rolling the mess, that charge over. The CPA is going to end up being $450. And he is, um, he has a lot of work. It's a lot cut out for him. So I certainly do not mind paying it. And the bonus is he's going to go over my 2015 taxes and check them out. Um, because I did my taxes myself in 2015. And I am quite sure I massively screwed them up. So the next budget item is our miscellaneous expenses, you know, like below money and haircuts and iTunes charges and whatever. Those are Weight Watchers. Those are all, you know, consistent every month. They same charges every month. And that totaled 30191 and is solid at 30191. Our debt payments were our typical debt payments, $4,800.62. Mauricio pretty much comes home with at least $3,000 a month in um, his Uber and Amazon flexing or contract or whatever he's doing that particular month. So we almost never pay less than $4,800. And it really kind of makes me sad to reflect on the fact that if Mauricio brings $3,000 home, we still, that entire amount of work that he does, 40 hours a week, five days a week, all of that money, every cent goes to debt. And that makes me a little sad because if we didn't have that debt, he could just focus on school and he wouldn't have to be killing himself working. But, you know, I, I know Mauricio and Mauricio is a super hard worker. So, you know, I, I know he's going to work no matter what. YouTube, um, my expenses, I went over them in the beginning of the month. It started out at 117.49 and finished up at 117.49. And so everything was perfectly planned and turned out lovely. I did get a channel evaluation from a professional and it was fantastic. He gave me lots and lots of tips. So you might notice some changes structurally over from the beginning of March to now and probably through April. I'm just going to be shoring things up and making it look more professional, official, whatever. The next one is our medical category and this was another overage category. This and medical obviously starts at zero every month unless I have a scheduled doctor's appointment or Mauricio or Melina has a scheduled checkup. We ended up with Melina's several trips to the doctors and I had my neck injection bill come in. That ended up being 179.74. We cash flowed that again with the way the two categories above that we discussed. The sinking funds was 325 and it finished at 325. So that was awesome. Now, when March was all said and done, we were able to roll over $582.70. I will tell you that our April budget, since I posted it, I pretty much jinx myself, I think, when I post stuff. This is what I've decided because the April budget, if you go back, it has changed a lot since I posted that video. And I'll be going into a video, but we did get our tax bill and we do owe money and we owe quite a bit of money and I'm really upset about it, but it's taxes. You have to pay those. So I've already filmed a whole video on it. It's going to be up next week. It is what it is. You have to pay your taxes. And I thought I had planned well. I apparently did not plan as well as I thought I had. So I'll be going into that a little bit more and how we're going to recover from it. So while I realized this was kind of a Debbie Downer video about our budget, we were able to not go into extra debt. So that's a big thumbs up. I think April's going to be rough. April's rough every year because we always ha have taxes to deal with. I'm feeling hopeful about it. I'm, I'm feeling like we've got a better handle on it this year than we have ever in the past. And it, truth be told, when Mauricio is working, we never owe money. We do our, our um, deductions out almost perfectly. So if we owe any money, it's less than $100. And 
or if we get money back, it's also less than $100. But with Mauricio not working a job that pulls taxes out, we can't do that. So we just need to compensate for it. And so I will be starting a new sinking fund called Taxes 2017 because this is going to be an issue again next year. So annoying. Hello, everyone. Today I have a special guest. And you know who it is? My mommy! Oh, yay! I'm so excited to be your special guest today. <laughs> what are we going to be talking about today? Money! We're going to be talking about money? Yep. That's exciting. So what are we talking about today, Melina? Nickels, dimes, and pennies. Okay. That's pretty much how much money we have, right? Yep. Make sure you click on the big lap and face to subscribe to my channel. And I'll put two videos up for you to click on and keep on watching. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya!